So today we are going to be making the lantern for Martimus. So first of all, you want to set up your workspace. I've got a towel down. I already have my balloon blown up and ready to go. I have a bowl that's large enough for the balloon to fit into. Um, I have a measuring cup over here. I have a second bowl of water to wet the balloon. I have the bubble wrap and I've got the wool over here and the um, strings. So first thing you're going to do is get your balloon wet. That way the wool will stick. Okay. So the key to this being successful is using very thin layers of the wool. And I mean thin, like you can see the balloon through it thin. If you don't, then um, it will be too thick and it won't felt properly. So you can see I'm stretching it out so it's like really thin. Okay. So you're going to want to put that on the bottom and then just stretch that up. Like so, and grab your next bit. And again, like stretch it out. Look at any debris. There's gonna be debris in here because this is a kind of a rough wool. It hasn't been coated. Again. Okay. Now at this point, you're covered enough, so you're going to want to take one of your strands and tie it around to help secure. Now see how it's kind of fluffed up a little bit on the top? Okay, so then you're going to take another layer and you're going to wrap horizontally this time. So that'll cover all the spots that don't have some wool on it. Sure that you are stretching it out nice and thin along the balloon. Okay, I'm going to tie another piece around. Make sure I've got one big enough, not quite big enough. Let's maybe be able to pull it a little bit here. We've got two that way, like that. I'm actually going to pull off some of this excess on the top because you don't want too much. Like that. Okay. So we're going to do one more around here, and then we're going to do one more wrap on the bottom just to make sure the bottom has enough. We want the bottom to be a bit thicker.
Okay. Got that. All right, and now we're going to do the bottom one more time vertically. I think what I'm going to do is just stretch it out really thinly, and then I'll just pull the excess off. So as you can see, there's still transparency to this. It's not too um, thick. So I'm going to do one more strand to um, tie it up. Let's see if I've got a piece around in there. You're going to have various sizes, so. You're just going to have to, for vertical, obviously you want your longest pieces. Okay, I'm going to do one more vertical strand. Okay, so we got it all on there. Now you're ready for step two.